Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, it's a wonderful uh, Sunday night. Yep, Sunday night, the night of the freaky, freaky storm. <laughs> Most wonder what I meant when I say freaky, freaky storm. Um, the UK has just been hit by uh, a storm, which is called um, Sierra. Um, you know, home flooded as storms wreak havoc in England. I call it a freaky freaky storm that's what i call it a, a freaky freaky storm um i went out today just to pick up something actually i went out today to get my hard old bread always like my hard old bread and um <laughs> storm or no storm i had to get my hard old bread <laughs> and uh and yes there was a freaky freaky storm and that storm actually <laughs> came out of the car and within one minute was completely drenched totally drenched you know um but nevertheless still we all we all survive and there's everything is okay um there there is there is some uh what should i say the couple of train stations or so which have been having um problems and um you know different things but anyway the freaky freaky storm is gone i wanted to come on tonight just to i want to touch say something more about the you know let me see if I can. I, I just want to share this video, uh, um, ladies and gentlemen. Um, do me a favor, just share this video, and and it would be, I would appreciate it if I could get your your feedback and your comments, uh, as well in regards to the whole deportation um, um, issue, which is happening regarding this plane, which is due to leave the UK on the uh, Tuesday on Tuesday um, so I, I'd really love to get your um, your feedback into it as much as possible um, yep I found out also that there's a there's somebody that I know who is actually on the plane well not on the plane but was um, but which which I understand that person is due if anything as well to be removed very interesting when I, when I was told about that um, very interesting um, just please share this video for me for a second I'm just looking for an, an information and and please say uh, hello and say hi and for those also on uh, what, what do we call it uh, we, we call it Instagram as well yeah please do that would be appreciated deportation deportation I, I saw, I, I just realized that there was a video which I did with the present Jamaica High Commissioner, um, Seth Ramakan, George, George Ramakan. And it was last year when there was a, 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 out of deportation. And there was also the people were saying that the High Commission had actually, uh, uh, you know, you know called the police on them. I don't know if you remember that. And, 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 and I had what we call Hi, hi, Ellen Prezzo. And I had what I call um, an urgent question to the High Commissioner. And I saw a video last night, um, I think it was CVM, one of the, radio one of the television station in Jamaica. And uh, there was Percival Latouche, who is the president of the returning residents of Jamaica. And also there was uh, Jennifer Housen, Jennifer Housen um, um, a lawyer. And um, they were very making scatting remarks about the Jamaica High Commission. And um, the work there, I always hear that all while for years. But one of the things that I I see the newspaper, the Guardian or the Independent, putting out different cases of different persons, and I also know of um, this one person. And, and one of the things that would have been so good is to have in some facts. You remember when I did that video at the time when they were talking about when when people were being. Um, uh, uh, killed in in Jamaica, um, and and people were saying Jamaicans don't go back to Jamaica because I'm killing off and all those sort of things. I, I don't know if you remember remember that. They said, don't go back to Jamaica because I'm killing off. And I did a video, and the video was actually saying, man must always don't give up on them yard, you know. I always try to break my my drop my little pat there, you know. You know, one should not give up on their home no matter what that's what i said one should not give up 
on their home, understand their issues there. And one of the things that I said, it would be so good to have these facts, have these facts like um, FACTS. How many Jamaicans return home as returning residents for a period of time, say for a 10 year period, let's have a period of time. How many are killed? How many perpetrators um, were known? How many perpetrators were actually, um, what should I say, uh, how many, um, how many, no, sorry, next, next question. How many perpetrators were, were caught? You know, it was trying to establish some sort of facts to the whole thing. And in this particular situation now, it would be good to establish some fundamental facts as well. 50 persons who are actually planning or who they said is to be deported, 50. Who are the 50 persons? Of course, the names are known to the authorities and the government and the Home, home Secretary, the Home Office, because that's their plan. So that is known. But it would be so good to know who are these persons. So the different organizations, Barack and um, Subside Black Lawyers and all of those who pulled together and there was a demonstration at the number 10 Downing Street, just on the outside there, not really on the street, but on the road. Uh, what exactly is the fact? 50 persons, how many of them were born in the UK? How many of them were born in Jamaica? And then one of the next question is, what age did they come to the UK? It's like doing some of the tick box thing. Because what, 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 what? What I'm trying to distinguish is that the wind rush. The wind rush is being used a lot. And when we are hearing about the wind rush now, and I was saying it to somebody, it is marred in a way with scandal. When actually the wind rush generation, the majority of them are doing well. It's a fact. But one which a level of injustice is one too much one too many and it is not it is it should not be condoned and it should not be accepted and there should be compensation uh, as, as persons are doing so there's no dispute about that fact right but it need to establish what is the wind rush of course there is there is a report which is to come out as to distinguishing what is report what is the um what what exactly it is but as I said, I'm going to want to have a discussion and um, and I, I don't mind stopping each time. Like Ellen President said, do you think the views made on one of the TV stations in Jamaica was a mispre misrepresentation of the flag? Do you think the views made on one of the TV? Um, actually, I don't even believe that things are misrepresentation of the facts. I believe that there are many um, suppositions, many assumptions. Um, one of the things that Miss Holson said was that there was an unknown factor, yeah. There, and this is an unknown entity because there's a lot of um, guess guessing which is happening, you know. And and if I go to, if if I go to an article here, and and uh, and, and 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 this is this is what this is what it said. Windrush, yeah. Call to review deportation of foreign-born offenders. Right? Call to review deportation of foreign born offenders. Right? That is where, let's deal with that one. That is where the injustice is for persons who are born in the UK and to be deported to a country which they weren't born in. Even though we know, and as I mentioned the other night, that just because one is born in the UK, that doesn't mean to say one is a British citizen or British subject. It all depends on the parents what their status is or are and also the next question is just and, and and sorry and just in comparison with the united states of america just because when one is born in america one by default bam you are an american the article said the government should consider ending the deportation of foreign born offenders who came to the uk as children according to a draft report in the windrush scandal Without even discussing that, without even analyzing that, I would say 
that no one should be deported to a foreign country just because um, by, if they weren't born in that country. So I think that is um, a, a, a done deal right there, right? And the question would be, and Remer said, they're trying to do this before the review gets published. And that's why I was saying as well, when they're analyzing it a bit more, and I'm saying, if the report or the review was leaked, how far from it being published it is and i know the government said they do not comment on leaked documents like they say they do not comment on cases which are actually in court but it said ahead of a deportation flight to jamaica next week a leaked copy of the windrush report calls on the government to consider an overall of the law the findings come in the draft of the windrush lesson learn review leaked to the labor mp david lamy and seen exclusively by newsnight Sajid Javid commissioned a review in July 2018 when he took over from Amber Rudd when the whole fiasco happened. With the, with the, and everybody said, we're going to make this right. And there was a massive national outcry. Injustice, injustice for the Windrush generation. Um, for persons who came to this country and um, invited to this country. And as a result, um, the, the, the landing cards and all those things were destroyed. And um, they were shipped out. And some of them actually... Um, even where children who came at tender age were, you know, unfortunately some paperwork been sorted out and they were unjustly, unjustly removed. The Windrush Canal revealed that citizens of Commonwealth countries who had an automatic right to settle in the UK until 1973 had wrongly faced questions about those rights. Some were denied entry to the UK when they sought to return home after visiting their country of Birth, while others were wrongly denied access to public services. The review talks about the aims of the Windrush Review written by Wendy William, an inspector of Constabler, is to rebuild confidence among members of the Windrush generation and their relatives. Okay? It is to build that build that level of trust. Now, as it goes further, as it goes further in the article, if I can find it back, Windrush. According to the draft report, the process will be held by ending the deportation of foreign-born offenders who have mainly been raised in the UK. And this is what I don't understand. And this is why I believe this is important. That is why it's good to get and establish the facts. How many persons on that plane of the 50 are, were born in the United Kingdom? Hey, hey Cyprian, how are you? How many were born in the UK? Let's not talk about whether they're citizens or not, but were born in the UK. Right? And if they're in the UK all their life and never ever been to Jamaica, the question is, why are they being deported to Jamaica? Okay? So therefore, so put it this way, the law can be an ass, yeah? The law can be an ass, and therefore sometimes the law can be a shackle, and therefore we need to uh, sort it out. So... I can agree with that, that they need to be overall. According to the draft report, the process will be held by ending the deportation of foreign-based offenders who have mainly been raised in the UK. The draft report written in June last year says the government should review its policy and approach to foreign national offenders. If necessary, through primary legis legislation, it should consider ending all deportation of foreign nationals where they arrive in the UK as children, say, before the age of 30. Alternative, deportation should only be considered in the most severe cases. It goes further, right? The Detention Action Group estimated that at least two offenders due to be deported to Jamaica next week, which is um, this week on Tuesday, would be able to remain in the UK if the recommendation in the draft report were implemented. Now, that is somewhat jumping the boat because when a report is done and a proposal is made, that doesn't mean to say the proposals will be accepted. But I guess, in fairness, what they're saying, it doesn't make any sense and it, it, it doesn't, doesn't um, feel right and feel good if a report is to be done two weeks' time or a month time and whereby a recommendation is going to go through and the recommendation is going to take a long time, if anything. Recommendation is that this person would be able to stay in the UK. Then what do you do in, retro in retrospect? Would be able to bring that person back, 
right? Is that person a danger to the society? Have that person served their time whereby they have been in, in over uh, uh, 12, 13 months or so, two years in prison, served their time out and living from Well, the person that I know who is actually um, going to be deported, he has some boys, <laughs> you know, spoke to his wife. And when I look at it, I said, right, okay, he did serve his time, I know. And but what I saw is a situation whereby the children are going to have no father. And when I think about that again, when I think about no father, then that breeds and manifests the problem we have in society as well. So there need to be a, a, a wider look at it, especially if the person has served their time. Hi, hi, Venice, how are you? Yeah. Dan Abbott, the Shadow Home Secretary, told News that she will be calling on the government to publish the report. But one of the things that I want Dan Abbott to do now, one of the things that I want David Lamy to do now, one of the things that I want Don Butler to do now, is to establish, based on their contacts, because they are in a pivotal, in a key and pivotal position, to establish the 50 persons. This should have been done long time. Why? Right? This should have been done long time. No looking at me. This should have been the long time where the 50 persons are established who they are. So therefore, you don't have to mention their name. So therefore, whosoever is doing the report or whosoever is in charge of the massive uh, campaign, what they can do is say, ladies and gentlemen, we know that there are 50 persons, but we will not mention their name. A, actually was born in the UK. A, um, did some burglary. Um, and what happened? He, he spent two years and he's now 21. He's been out from 2015 and he's with his wife and he's got a children, uh, whatever, and he's going on and he's working and blah, blah, blah. And then 2020, he's going to be deported. I think I'm going to mention a case shortly. 2020, he's going to be deported five years after his service done. One of the questions is, is that fair? Okay. Cyprian says, yes, views made on CMTV. See, there's a serious problem where 50 people were put, on a, were put on a plane in 2018 and only 29 were deported. That's a classic case, Cyprian. People are rovers from the flight and have been cleared. There's a clearly a serious case that needs resolving. Ellen Prince, I don't think it was misrepresented. What's your view and what part of you think was misrepresented? So I'm saying now, I'm saying, and we, we can't keep having these things happening over and over and operate in a mishap way where on the eve of something fundamental like this is happening one do not know the facts now the facts may be known and that's why persons are actually saying that but the the the, the community or our people need to understand exactly who are these 50 persons where were they born what time did they come to the uk what age did they come to the uk what was their crime is it burglary is it rape is it um, jumping over the turnstile, trying to not buy your ticket. <laughs> um, overstay. I mean, people can be overstayers as well. Um, for 20, I know people, I've heard of people who are, I think I know someone, you know, 20 years, you know what I'm saying? And keep putting papers back to the home office and not getting the paper back. The papers get lost and everything like that. The fees go up and um, the, law, the regulation change and they're caught in this little web. They're caught in this little web. And they're frustrated. And many persons are waiting for what Boris Johnson had said at one point when he was mayor for there to be a amnesty. And many people are looking for that. Because they've been here and they're working hard. But at the same time, while they're working, they are illegal. So therefore, they are by virtue of that, that fact. They're breaking the law. So therefore, they operate and they are within the ambit of illegality and it being illegal and uh, committing a crime right and, and 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 these are these are the things that is why i know i keep saying it again but need to establish who these persons are who are they what's their name what's their number how long have they been in the uk right now let me see i, I can't seem to find this thing there's there's this article with this gentleman. Let me see if I can. Where did it go? Somebody help me find it. I think somebody sent it to me earlier. Theo sent it to me earlier today. Um, this is about this gentleman who actually, yeah, the independent. 
here. Ah, here it is. Here, let me see if I can find it. The Independent. This is a classic case here. His name is Rashawn Davis. A man who has been in the UK since the age of 11 and as a British baby is set to be deported on a chartered flight to Jamaica within days. He's been here from he was 11 years of age. All right. 11 years of age. Was detained last Friday and told he would be removed to Jamaica on 11th of February on the second chartered flight to travel to the country since the Windrush scandal two years ago. They want they wanted me on that plane. I've been here for 23 years. Wow. Are you serious? They wanted you on that plane. Wow. He's been removed from the country on the basis that he was convicted for robbery 10 years ago under the now unlawful joint enterprise rule for which he spent two months in prison. The Jamaican national who lived with his British wife and six-month-old daughter in Northwest London and has not committed any crime since his conviction said he thought of being ripped off from his family and returning to a country he has not been for 20 years terrified him. Up to 50 other Jamaican nationals have been detained in recent weeks and are said to be deported on the same charter flight which has been the subject of mounting controversy. Now, this independent article here, and somebody said, independent article, how did they find all this information? We are saying something here now. 50 other Jamaican nationals. So what are saying? Are they Jamaican nationals? Right? So therefore they have their passport. Right? They are not, they could be dual citizens. I've got dual citizens. I've got a British passport. I've got a Jamaican passport. So I can say, flash it up and say I'm Jamaican. Flash it up and say I'm British. Are these persons Jamaicans? Right? Are they Jamaicans by virtue of born, being born in Jamaica and come to the UK? Or being born in the UK, but by virtue of the status of their parents, they are Jamaican. Facts. We don't have the facts, man. See, Brendan and I was talking. My cousin and I was talking. We do not have the facts. F-A-C-T-S, right? So therefore, what we're hearing now is wind rush, the wind rush, the wind rush, the wind rush. And somehow that is being used to underpin it. And, and therefore, it might not be justified, and then it becomes a smokescreen. It's like when people call rape, 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 rape. And it's not rape. So when it really rape, it loses strength. Racism, sometimes everything now is being racist, 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 racist. Sometimes these things are not racist. People are using the race card. So when the real racism thing comes, it loses its thing. Facts, 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 right? I've got someone on Instagram who's saying, I spent over 15,000 on legal fees. And that's another thing, again, which many people have been talking about, even with lawyers, lawyers sometimes. I remember one lady said she did her... Um, went to a lawyer, a law firm, and the reason why they said she should stay in the UK or the, or the reason what they put in the paper, she wanted to explore the British Isle. Exploring the British Isle. One of the worst stupid ever reasons to stay in the UK. But of course, that lawyer or that firm uh, has got the money. Aluna Samba, former High Commissioner, I did an interview and I did three interviews with her, three, th a three-part interview, and I'm going to actually find those those links on the YouTube channel. Go on to Silburn TV YouTube channel um, on YouTube, of course, like and subscribe, and you'll see those interviews. And this is from a few years back where we talk about people need to regularize themselves. Regularize themselves, regularize themselves. That's something we talk about, right? So, uh, so a, a, a draft, please accept, um, somebody saying, please accept my, please accept my request. Please accept my request. Hold on, let me see something here. Uh, please accept my request. Sorry. Uh, yep. Cherry, I, I can't see you. Um, I don't understand why why I'm not able to to do that. Yep. Hold on. To to do to do to do to. Uh, sorry, somebody was. There, there. Yeah. Anyway, um, they spent over fifteen thousand legal fees. Man, that that's a lot, man. Right? I know one person now said, "Silbert, I'm not going to pay no more money on legal fees. I'm not. I'm not. You've got to help me. Just give me some ad advice or whatever." I I don't do immigration law, but there are certain basic things one can just um 
guide someone and tell them to i've got a couple of lawyers that i'll send persons to and say listen um don't charge this person just so he can do it for anything and they'll take my advice uh they take my my word and um and it's okay silver because it's you because you have some persons in some desperate situation um i understand also that some persons who have been at the the detention center do not have any phones and they were able to exercise their right to get legal representation you know um you know and and so you, you know i'm seeing cases persons here talking about their life they've got their family they've got their lives so therefore you know i i, I don't know i just think that sometimes listen i'm not going you know successive government is to be blamed conservative government labor government conservative government labor government is to be blamed right in this this thing needs to be sorted out but there need to be this fundamental distinction between wind rush and other things because not everything can be wind rush i, I said to someone earlier today um they said the, the scandal of wind rush is our story and i said no we can't accept every story it's just like slavery and i said slavery is our story i said yes okay it's a part of the history but it's not the fundamental part of the story right there's been life as as black people before slavery okay you know Ellen Prison. Let me see if I can get this. Sherry, I don't understand why you why you can't um comment or so. It's a bit strange. Um but Ellen Prison, let me hear what you say. Yes on CMVM TV. Silver is could there be an issue of the lacuna in the law or misrepresentation of the same? The Jamaica is supposed to represent them. You see there's things which is underhanded maybe happening, I I, I think. I, I think, and I wouldn't be surprised if, um, you know, quotes and um, quotas are trying to be addressed. But I don't have the facts. <laughs> I do not have the facts. And many people commenting and everything like that do not have the facts. I would just love to see this. And how can I do this? I believe the best person's best place to do this is Diana But, Don Butler, Lamy they can get the, the the access the high commission they can get the access and they can say of the 50 persons and put it publicly like this like i'm here now publicly of the 50 persons who are to be deported on the 11th what we have established is that 20 of them were born in the uk right and, be, and by virtue of the fact that their parents didn't sort out their status but they were born in the uk and uh, because of that, they are Jamaican citizens by virtue of the law, you know. But at the same time, they have the right to 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 um to get regularized by just going through some legal process and going through some legal hoop. Okay, they committed the crime, right? But they were born in the UK. That's one category. Twenty. Let's put them to one side. The twenty were born here, and also we've got fifteen persons who were actually who came to the uk when they were 10 years of age between three and five 10 years of age and uh during the course of that time they they they, they commit burglar the rape such a rape and uh, manslaughter blah 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 now the question you got to ask yourself now and this is where the report said this is where the part of the report the part of the report said this that they they are trying to reclassify the persons who are to be classified as Windrush people, right? So, I, I don't think I can be classified as Windrush, neither my wife, right? I came here at the age of 21, right? Okay, I married my wife and went to Jamaica, brought her up, right? We are not Windrush persons, no way. Because we, well, we are first generation, you know, we, 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 our parents weren't here. We come straight from yard, straight from Ochi. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, why sh I cannot be classified as a Windrush person? Okay, I have an uncle actually who came here actually during that period by virtue of the by virtue of my mother's brother. But I didn't come under that lineage. So should I be classified as a part of the Windrush, the person who built? I came as a, a, a and and benefit and many people benefit from the windrush legacy these persons who build the nhs these persons who build on the ground these persons who bus drivers doing tasks went up to the war right 
we benefit from them we appreciate and we uh give a, a hands off um kudos to them their legacy their story should be more powerful and more positive but what you're seeing a lot is when you hear about Windrush, you're thinking about scandal. When I know persons from Windrush, <laughs> you know, elderly person from Windrush who actually will say, but they won't say it publicly because they may be chastised by saying, Silver, a lot of us actually are okay. A lot of us did what we should have done. We regularized ourselves and blah, blah. My uncle who came, he, he you know, that period, his three daughters, there's no issue with his wife and blah, blah, blah. Some didn't. My cousin who took me up from Jamaica, actually, his mother and my and my great uncle, they came up in the Windrush period. I think he said he came up in his shorts. <laughs> Look, good boy. It's okay, going through the process. Right? So and and they have not been affected by the whole thing. The reason I'm saying that I'm not trying to justify or try to make any distinction in a fundamental way between those who did not to say that they are to be blamed. No, 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 no. It was an injustice. The, 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 the landing car has been ripped up, right? It was an injustice. That is clear. That is established. But we need to separate the, the persons who may have come to the UK after that period, five, ten years ago. And I said it the other night, just like me, came here in 1992. If I go on rape and murder or manslaughter, blah, 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 I need to be dipped. Yeah, I was culturalized because I made the mistake. I did that action, so I should be dipped. Go back and watch it. You know, I'm just saying that. But therefore, so a draft copy of this Windrush Lessons report leak, leak to the media, okay? Right? So, 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 um, and so let's go back to this gentleman. The 27 year old is currently a maternity leave but work as a complaint handler. Sorry, the, the, I was talking about the gentleman there, uh, Mr. Uh, what's his name? The Jamaican national, Rashawn Davis, who was detained last Friday. Uh, up to up to 50 other Jamaican nationals, that's where I stuck to, have been detained in recent weeks, said to be deported on the same charter flight, which has been the subject of mounting controversy. A draft copy of the Windrush Lesson Learn leaked to the media. Ministers should consider ending the practice of deporting people arriving in the UK as children, prompting calls for ministers to have the removal of individuals like Mr. Davis until it is published. So therefore, that is the whole thing to talk about reclassification. The ten is our main our meanwhile struggling to access legal services to pursue challenge against the removal due to a mobile phone outage at Heathrow Moral Centres. Yeah? But the person that I know who is in there, I got a call from them yesterday and I've got their number and I can actually speak to them. But of course, they don't want their details to be known. Right. Speaking from the Colin Brook Removal Center for Indigenous, Mr. Davis, who has no family or friends in Jamaica, told the Independent, I am so stressed out. Yeah, that's what he said. I had to find some of the, uh, the, that. Da, da, da. Okay, that's it. Bear with me. Bear with me a second. Yeah, he said, I'm so stressed out. Yeah, I look at my daughter's pictures uh, every night before I go to bed since she was born. Never had, never spent a night without her until I was locked in there. I still reach for her when I wake up. I'm not one of those who leave my wife. Yeah. I'm terrified to go to Jamaica. Right. My cousin was deported and he has now died. People will be hostile to me because I've been deported. And that's the other issue again in Jamaica. Um, what happens when they go back to Jamaica? What happens when they don't have anything? And is the government in Jamaica getting $55,000 or pounds, which some people are saying, I don't have no facts. So where is the fact? We just need some facts. F-A-C-T-S. What is the fact? How many people leave it? Is the government of Jamaica getting any money? Somebody find that out, if anything. Can some PNP find that out from the JLP? You know, put them under pressure. I know Percival Latouche is uh, PNP leaning and I know... Miss Hudson also is, is PNP leading and some people say it is all politics because guess what? You know, they're trying to embarrass the Labour government, the, 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 the Labour Party government in Jamaica, right? So there's a political element to it which is working, right? What I talk about and what we talk about is facts. The 27-year-old is currently a maternity leave, which is the wife of the gentleman, works as a complaint handler at an emergency company. And she said, I've been hoping to go back to work so he could look after the baby. Right? What? Did you say 2000 Jamaica get paid. Okay, here's somebody saying here. Jamaica get paid 2000 pounds. Let's say that is pounds, yeah? Per head. Okay. 
Have you got the facts here, Emelech? It would be good if you have the facts. Yeah. I never imagined being a single mom. I don't want to fall into the statistics of young single parents, especially for something. Rashawn is a great dad. He's been here all the time. She loves him. He does a lot. Feeds her, change her. Mr. Davis solicitor made a representation for him to remain in the UK this week on the basis of family ties, but it was ruled on Friday that he did not have a genuine and subsisting relationship with his wife or child and that it would not be unduly harsh for them to be without him. Yeah. Rachel Mead, solicitor for Urban Legal, who represented Mr. Davis, said he was shocked that despite having provided birth certificate, marriage certificate and photograph, his relationship with his family has not been believed. And then also someone said to me that they said you can actually father your children by Skype. Home Office has been quite manipulative in shutting down the arguments. Home Office spokesperson said the planned charter flight to Jamaica is specifically for removing foreign criminals. And here's a classification again. Those detained for removal are convicted of manslaughter, rape, violent crime, and dealing class A drugs. Okay? Right. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all I want to say. And just put it in another perspective. Um, Sherry, I don't know how I can seem to find you and what happened, why I can't seem to get you to link in. But I just want to put some perspective into this. I'd just like to hear for you to say some more about it. Not making any judgment or any preconceived I'm thinking, but need the facts. As my good friend Christine was actually saying, we need the facts. We need to know. Right? And at the same time, people in Jamaica are saying, where are you sending these persons to? You know? And people are saying, but what? You can't, ref you can't refuse the persons who are born in Jamaica. But people are saying, we've got a crime problem in Jamaica. And if you send back persons in Jamaica who are not able to adapt to the society, who maybe are criminal elements, um, what they say sometimes is that when they go back to Jamaica, they go up into this gangs and blah, blah, because they got established links in the UK. And then some things start to happen because they, they, they are not ready. They are not equipped to um, climatize back into Jamaica when it would be better if anything and it's argued for them to reclimatize themselves back in the UK where they were culturalized into that act of crime based on the fact of years in the United Kingdom these are all things that need to be talked about all need to be talked about uh, someone said I, I went to jail for blackmail 20 months did 10 came out of jail 2010 I was an administrator for Marks and Spencer okay is that I was before or I was after, yeah? Being here 23 years, okay? So you have somebody talking, giving some example in on, on YouTube. So I guess the reality, ladies and gentlemen, is that this this need to be looked at. And I agree totally. We need, we need to establish some facts. And I know I keep saying that over again. And of course, and I'll try to do that over, establish some facts as much as possible. But the time is too short. The time is too short. So short time. I know my mate um, and the, the guy is going to try to get um, some injunction tomorrow, some judicial review tomorrow to see what, what can be done and to try to stop him um, from going away. Because, um, uh, you know, it'd be good for him to be around for his children, for his boys, especially his boys. Boys these days need um, fathers. And, and that and then the state could end up becoming the father if you got a broken home father's not there boys get bad and then therefore they've gone into the care system and they're gonna say where are the fathers my good friend Stephen Atkinson when he speaks about knife crime and he goes up there and when he goes to court and he's talking about it he looks up in the car in the in the in the, in the gallery and he said where are the fathers this is it so just because someone made a mistake in the past should they be penalized forever for life especially if they have served their time right especially if they have served their time of course it is a debatable subject because um this is um not our country <laughs> you know and um you know people might want people to go back but and that's why i keep saying all the while you know um what's the difference that my aunt had to one of them are born here and had to the German guy is supposed Born here to naturalize as well. My aunts had to. One of them were born here and had to naturalize as well. And this is why I said, ladies and gentlemen, no matter what, um, never burn the bridges of Jamaica. Yeah. After I came out, I was working. They sent me a letter saying I'm a threat to the public, despite me being here for 23 years. Well, wow. got to talk about that. Um, try not to burn your bridges to Jamaica. Try not to burn your bridges to home. Um, try to keep establishing your links. 
uh, as no matter what no matter how long you've been in this country try to keep that link there because it's always good to know that you can go back to the land of your birth or go back to the land of your father and your mother um you know as i always say to people all the while my lineage is straight from jamaica straight from africa to jamaica <laughs> and therefore uk is an interrupting process and um uh, as well you must you must be you should should you know that's my appeal ladies and gentlemen no matter what and i, I always you know quiver sometimes and do a side eye when i hear a person say they're scared to go back to jamaica i can understand scared if maybe you did something dodgy back home and you're scared of your life and the man must say what you come back catch your backside or something like that <laughs> sorry that's, that's not a swear you know you know um you know I, I can understand that but you know as a way of um protecting oneself and one um you know i, I think it's very important that one try to as much as possible you know don't burn the bridges and uh and if anything always say always put yourself in a state of mind that if you've got to go back you've got to go back so that means to say if it is start to build a house if it is start to re-establishing links back home you know, anything can happen you know try to do that as much as possible because guess what the chinese are buying up jamaica the asians are buying up jamaica the spanish is buying up jamaica everybody's buying up jamaica jamaicans are not buying up jamaicans you know what i mean so i think it's very important that you buy up jamaica as much as possible and get with the program um, so therefore, if the time come and you got to make a move, you can move to somewhere. You got families, you got links. Keep your links. Right. I tell you, all my bridge. You know, right now, right now, I, I tell you this. I give you my example. Right now, my classmate of 1985, York Castle High School. We are all in a group, WhatsApp group. We keep talking, Jever in the same way. You know, anytime I put out a little dance or so, my mates from school days will laugh and say, Ah, city is still the same way. You know, and I keep the link with them and we we run joke. My, my good friend, who is a principal of York Castle High School, um, was my classmate as well. And he's always um, keeping us in check. We're like little kids when we are, uh, when we are online, when we're online with, with Raymond Trevor, Tre Treasure. So, but, and, 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 and if I go to, um, I haven't got sound on as family watching TV, but hi, hi, Andy. And, and if I go to Jamaica uh, tomorrow for any reason, uh, I can get any of my mates to pick me up. Of course, I can get my family to pick me up, but I can get, you know, Roger, Matthew, Uju, Ochi guys, them, Bridget, them, Derek. Yeah, yeah, man. Keep the links, man. Make sure you keep your links. Keep your links, man. Keep your links to yard. No matter what. Never burn your bridges. No matter what. All right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, good night. That was what I just wanted to say. I was resting on my heart, you know. Um, you know. And, and as Lorna said, keep your options open no matter what. Always keep your options open. I'm going to put this on YouTube. Remember to like and subscribe. Go on to my YouTube channel, Silburn TV, Silburn Show. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll upload it there and share it as well. And, and let me hear your views on top of this. And, you know, if you know persons who are there, send it to me. Let me see if I can even establish the facts. Let me see if I can establish 50 persons, if anything. Who knows? Maybe I can maybe get, get a way to do that. 50 persons. Who are they? When they came to the UK? Were they born in the UK? What's your status? What happened there? Okay? And and that's it. Dion Green said, I have my house and clothes back home as well as the house key here. That's my yard, bro. <laughs> and there you go, you know. I've, I've, I've got your house, you know. I, I, just, I, just, I just checked. I just checked a while ago. Let me just check. You know? you know. Still have my old passport, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And the new one, you know what I mean? <laughs> and the British one. You see, keep your options open, man. Keep your options open. That's 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 my message. Keep your options open. So therefore, whenever the time comes that you've got to go back home to Jamaica, you can go and you can say, you know what? I go my yard. If anything, if I don't want me, I go on my yard or go chip on the beach and stuff like that. Yeah. Be encouraged, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just wanting to give a, a, a light note to this and um, and be blessed and have a good week. And don't let the freaky, freaky song freak you out, which is Sierra. <laughs> freaky, freaky, freaky. <laughs> God bless, guys. Um, Rimalek, please give me a, send me a message there. Let me, um, I know, you know, just send me a message um, on Instagram. Let's further talk about that, get some facts on, on your situation. Because since you have made it, you have talking about it publicly on Instagram, you know, I'm sure you'll be happy to talk to me some more about that. All right? Peace out. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, guys.
See you later.